beauties. So get this, a college in China is teaching female students how to be perfect, and by perfect they mean how to dress porty and sit just so. Well, I can teach you all of that in about 10 seconds. Dress how you like, sit whatever way is comfy, and get your babe to make your tea instead. There, I just saved you a ton of money on tuition. I'm Sharon Carpenter, your savage suffragette, and this is HQ Trivia, where what you know can win you dough. And we see you out there, players. Hello to the crew at Box Bar and Grill in Fredericksburg, Texas. Hi to Jeremy Driscoll, to Tim and Arlene in Albuquerque, and Thomas from Tacoma, Washington as well. Shout out to the US Coast Guard Station in Ireland, Marada, Stacey P, congrats on your new home. Lena, who is an awesome friend and just graduated from high school last week, has her classes VP. And happy birthday to Cameron's mum, Leslie, as well. Good luck to all of you players. Now, the rules here are simple. I'm going to ask you a series of eight questions. Yes, eight this time. From easy to hard, you have 10 seconds to tap that answer. If you get it correct, you move on, answer all eight right, and you win or split the cash. And you'd like an extra line wouldn't you? You ask me all the time on Twitter. We'll find a friend who's not on HQ and get them to sign up using your code. It's that easy. Now tonight we are giving away a confident $5,000. That's enough for some new outfits that you love, a month's supply of chai lattes and a new chair to slouch on. But before you flaunt it, you've got to taunt it. Let's get to the quizzing. Here we go with Q1. Which of these vehicles is designed for snow-covered hills? Yacht, toboggan, subway. The fastest way to get around snow covered hills as well. Better than sledding, if you've got a need for speed, you want to ride a toboggan. That's how you should be moving around in the snow on a toboggan. 515,000 of you slayed that one. The subway shuts down in the snow and yachts are way better in the sun. As for us, we're zipping through to Q2. Who wrote the poem, The Raven, Larry Bird, Raven Simone, Edgar Allan Poe? You're going to be raving if you get this one right, which most of you will. This lit question is for the birds, but not Larry Bird. He's more of a basketball guy. The answer, don't you know it? is the poet Edgar Allan Poe. Yes, he wrote The Raven, 493,000 of you flying onwards. If you got this one wrong, I bet you'll remember it now forevermore. Not nevermore, like the poem. Now, do not forget to join us again at 9 p.m. Eastern tonight. Elmo will be here hosting with Scott. Cannot wait. Elmo believes in you, so maybe his good vibes will bring you a big win. You'll have to play to find out. Now back to this show and Q3. Which of these is an Italian fried dough snack resembling a donut, tiramisu, zeppoli, brajol? They all sound tasty, but which one is a delicious donut type thing? If you fry it and supply it, then I'll try it, sure. Especially when it's a sweet treat like the zeppoli. Kind of like a beignet and a donut. Wow, look at that, 277,000 of you got that right with a sweet, sweet win, but we did lose around 200,000. That was a brutal question, sadly. Now, a brajol is wrapped in meat, soaked in the sauce. Tiramisu is a creamy, spongy dessert. Neither are fried, but they're just as terrific and calorific as well, so watch out. Q4, of these historical accessories, which is worn on a different body part than the other two, Steinkirk, buskin, cravat. Which one has its own body part to cling to? In this hot summer weather, we are trying to wear as little as possible. These boots were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do, buskin. Buskin is what we're talking about here, and this was a savage question here on Q4. This is actually the halfway mark since we're doing eight questions. We lost around 200,000 of you there. 67,489 of you are stepping on to the next round. It's a knee-high sandal boot popular in ancient Greece. It's now made a comeback as beachwear. So just watch out for those weird tan lines. Extra sunscreen you need for those. Q5, which of these is the name of a real animal? Skink, scroot, skonk. And there are no typos there. 
Which one's the real animal? Not a skunk. Never thought I'd say this, but the skunk is cute, at least compared to a skink. Well, that one was kind of cute. It's probably photoshopped. Skink is your answer. 45,995 of you nailed that one. The skink is a type of lizard that usually has short legs, not much of a neck, and occasionally a blue tongue as well. But looks on everything. The skink is friendly, and that's what counts. Q6, what rock and roll classic begins with the words, well, there's one for the money, two for the show. Is it Jailhouse Rock or Shook Up? Blue suede shoes. Three to get ready. Go, cat, go. Here at HQ, we're all about the money and the show. If you're tapped on all shook up, you should be shook because it's the wrong answer. Blue suede shoes is what we were looking for. 19,333. If you got that right, just don't step on those blue suede shoes, all right? Don't step on them. The song was inspired by a bad boyfriend who treated his girlfriend as less important than his footwear and they weren't even Yeezys. The penultimate round players is Q7. Pronounced zygomatic arches can be particularly helpful in which of these professions? Weightlifter, supermodel, marathoner. Zygomatic arches that are pronounced. We're not talking foot arches here, but you'll still want to give us a twirl if you picked supermodel. Because that was a super decision if you did. 6,874 if you did. Anatomists call them. Uh, they call them pronounced zygomatic arches. You and I call them high cheekbones or great contouring skills. Filters at the ready. Because we are snapping into the final round with 6,874 players left in the game. Another 755 using their extra lives to get back in. $5,000 up for grabs as we speak. Good luck, players Q8. The video game giant Capcom gets its name from the portmanteau of what words? Captain Commander, Capsule Computers, Capture Competition. Get your thinking caps on for this. The maker of Mega Man and Street Fighter goes back to the 1980s when mergers between multiple Japanese firms took place. This name was picked to suggest a small package full of big gaming excitement. In other words, a capsule computer. That's your winning answer. We have 3,383 winners. You smashed it. <laughs> Massive congratulations to our 3,383 winners tonight. You survived the savage and you are taking on $1.48. We've got Zebra, we've got Filthy Lobo right there, we've got S. Bradley 926, Kurt Manser as well, and a bunch of other winners. What are you going to do with all that? cash so much you could do with it maybe chow down on some zeppelis get some blue suede shoes maybe some little mini doll ones go on a toboggan ride i mean there's a lot you can do with that money well done that truly was an awesome game hqts thanks for hanging with me you came you played you totally totally slayed i'm sharon carpenter and you can hit me on the socials stop by let me know how well you did tonight i can't wait to find out and come back in a few for our 9 p.m eastern show elmo is gonna be here hosting so do not miss it have a lovely night everyone and i'll see you soon bye <laughs>